there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we made our way through Sunglow Ridge, which I still think is a kind of boring level. But this time we're going to move on to Chateau Chanterelle. Got two mini paint stars here, and it's actually a kind of short level for two paint stars. You'll see in just a moment. Here we go. Looks like it's actually got quite a bit of colour as well. This is the professor's house. The professor studies fossils and other really old things. He's what's known as an old rock in the parlance of his field. I have no idea what you mean, but I guess he's an archaeologist like Indiana Jones. Except he might not have a whip. Anyway though, let's just clean up his front yard a little bit. And this, I gotta say, this music is very weird. Welcome back, Professor. I've arranged the blue bo bleh, boxes just the way you like that. Oh, you're not a professor. Can I help you? I'm not sure. I think maybe we need to talk to the professor. See, we're looking for many paint stars and... It's kind of a long story, but we can see one of them from the professor's front yard. Hmm, are the paint stars extremely old? Because the professor is mostly interested in very old things. You know, fossils, ruins, stuff like that. Well, and his princess. He's definitely obsessed with his princess. That reminds me, the professor is on a walk in Mondo Woods with princess, but he's been gone so long. I'm actually getting a little worried. Should I do something? Organize a search party? No, my first instinct was correct. I'll just wait passively in the corner and hope for the best. Oh, the toads are so useless. Anyway, we can for some reason check this, but how does he get any work done with this giant spike on his desk? Uh, that's all we can do. I'll get into that spike a bit later though. Anyway, back here, there's a mini paint star that Huey must be talking about. Because I am unobservant and didn't notice that from the front of the house. Anyway, looks like there's a pipe up here. Let's see where it takes us. Enter here. And there's a second mini paint star. This is our first orange mini paint star. But don't worry guys, we will be right back for the green one. Anyway, that's... I didn't really show off that level in its fullness anyway, because it's that small. Like, you saw most of it right there. But there's one path that we can take. And I'm sure we'll take that path very soon. Because Mondo Woods, I, I can tell you guys right now, Whatever that place was to the north, that didn't look like any kind of forest that I've seen. So I'm going to take a guess that the green paint star, first green one we're getting too, is the one that takes us to all the greenery, the trees, the grass, the what, whatever else you find in a wood. Anyway, this is Baby Princess's Cuddle Palace. <sighs> The professor insists that I call it that. He's docked my pay for not saying it. Well, okay then. How about we head inside the princess's cuddle palace? Seems like there's a secret exit. Maybe this is how the princess managed to go for walks. I don't. I honestly don't know. Anyway though, we're so close to the mini paint star, I can hear it whizzing away. No I can't, I'm sorry I lied. But we can open up this gate for easy access back here, no need to go through the cuddle palace again. But if we check these doors, they open up, revealing... A replica cat that I don't care about. But also, if we give this a squeeze... Yeah. 
You got piggy bank. There's only one way to get the coins out of this bad boy. Break it. Yes, another one of the very few things in the game that has no required use. Anyway, lining up the doors like so, you can just check them to line them up. It's very forgiving where you have to stand on that too, but yes, this is another cutout in another dimension. Lining up with the flagpole in the front of the professor's yard, which lets us climb all the way up to another flagpole, to the mini paint star. There we go! That's course clear both mini paint stars and I believe that's also 100% of the paint spots filled in, and another Rochambeau token. But that's it. That is Chateau Chanterelle. Complete 100%. We never have to... Okay, I'm just gonna stop there. We will be coming back there multiple times whenever the professor returns. But this token leads us actually not where I thought it was going to go. Okay, but there's Mondo Woods also with too many paint stars, or Marmalade Valley. Well, I do like my warm colors. Okay, I like orange. Cool colors are better. They're cooler. But I do like orange quite a bit. And look at that, it's a train. And listen to that music. It's amazing. And I'm gonna let you guys listen to it when we properly explore this level. Because, well, there's a train here and I can't go past it. Oh, hello, Mario. I don't suppose you've heard the news. My beloved engine here is scheduled to be decommissioned. I'm sad she's being put out to pasture, but we all get old eventually, don't we? Not the... No, the train, why? I want this train to stay forever. Well... This toad is also interested in the train. Maybe he's like me. Isn't this a cool old-fashioned train? I could stare at it all day long. Us train fanatics are called rail fans. I'll wait for hours just to catch a glimpse of a passing train. This train is bound for Kwano Temple. I'm gonna follow it. But first, I need to find some place to cry about my life for a while. Okay, I might not get that emotional when I see an old train, but I have to admit, trains are some of the... Please, paint! Thank you! Trains are some of the best forms of transport, at least in terms of how cool they look. That said, planes are pretty fun to go on. Trains are just so much better. And they go chugga 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 chugga. Hello Mario, take a look at this, would you? I believe we've made an important discovery. Now we have to be super careful when we excavate it, just like the professor said. Oh, seems like the professor's been here too. Well, I'd kind of expect that. This is the fossils that we've heard about before. But hidden in here is a hammer. I don't know why I grabbed that. Just to show off there's a hammer. Sorry, this area is off limits right now, unless you have a permit. See, we found an extremely rare fossil and we can't just have anyone walking around. If you don't know what you're doing, you could stomp on a million year old bone or something. Anyway, if you really need access, see the professor. He's currently working at Chateau Chanterelle. <laughs> When I hear something is off limits, it makes me want it even more. Plus, I know I can smell a paint star in there somewhere. Come on, let's go ask this professor if we can poke around his dig site. Um, well, the professor wasn't exactly home. So it seems like our only choice is to head into Mondo Woods. So let's run along the train tracks. The tracks just stretch off into the vast, boring unknown here, Mario. No point going this way. I guess we won't go off into the distance. Also, look at these bushes. I've never seen bushes like this, but I kind of want some that look like this. They remind me of the 
NBC logo? The... Whatever the news channel thing is. Anyway, I guess one level did have to lose something compared to another. But... Mondo Woods is where the game is telling us to go. So let's take the only route we have open to us. Nice little neat bit of music. Remembering I can kill Goombas with a hammer strike and that the hammer strikes are just better in general. I saw the professor rock right past this spot with Princess. Of course, she's so small and quick, it's no wonder she got away. Probably slipped right out of her collar. Anyway, the professor chased her, but I didn't see where either of them went. Okay, got some weird scuff marks in the ground. I think there were some of them by the princess's cuddle palace too. Hey Mario, is it just me or is there something unusual about this forest? I mean, I qu can't quite put my handle on it, but... Oh, I just figured it out. Everything's huge! Run away from the Goomba! And I'm fighting the Goomba, I guess. Oh, sorry for being quiet. I was just so darn afraid of the darn thing. We have a Mega Goomba. This thing is no joke. It's, it can take a hit. In fact, it can take like 20 hits. It, it, it takes too many hits. Like, look at this. A worn out jump, which would kill even a shy guy, a slap guy. I have to use three of them, and I barely even do half damage. These guys, not even half the amount of damage. That's what happens when I talk during a hop slip, I mess it up. Also, they do a lot of damage. Mondo Woods is very scary if you're not careful about the enemies. So I'm gonna use a line jump ineffectively once more just because they oh my goodness please stop messing up. But the line jumps do so much damage. And hopefully you can kill it but I, I have my doubts. Please come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Go Mega Goombas. Very tough. But look at the coin! The one singular huge coin. But that hammer scrap. Didn't send it up as much as I thought it would, but that was a very good hammer scrap. Anyway, got huge coins, but that's not the good thing. When in Mondo Woods, although everything is big, coins being kind of worthless because there's still only one coin, if you were to get a card, please don't notice me. Okay, you can notice me now. Come this way, Goomba. Thank you very much. I'm gonna avoid fighting any of them if I can. All the cards, if you've already noticed, are huge cards. Okay, they're not huge cards. They're just big cards. But they're pretty good cards still and definitely worth coming this way for them all especially because of how much damage they do i guess the big hop slipper does have its uses as opposed to the small one which is rubbish but let's continue exploring that is a good card big eek hammers will you will see their use for almost the whole game I'm, I'm not joking. They're good cards. Um, before doing anything more here, do not destroy all these blocks. In fact, especially this one in front of me here. Maybe just destroy 
those blocks I've destroyed there. Because you want to be able to, one, climb over here and paint this one. Very important. But even more important, climb up here and grab this item. Don't worry, these, some of these... What? How did that hit you? <laughs> okay. That was a long, scary fight. I want that hammer scrap. And I'm very low on health. But that's okay. Because I'm not dead. And that's all that matters. Anyway, got a very long streak of a co colorless spot here. I can only imagine a shy guy was walking along that spot, slurping it as he went. But if I continue this way... Yes, this is the room I wanted to check out. We have... Mm, th th there was a heart behind there. I'm very thankful for that. There's a Goomba trying to kill me. But as long as I hide beneath these blocks, I should be fine. Okay. Please. Okay, mate. I am not going for those coins. Because, one, I don't need money. I have 6,000 coins. Two, I don't need money. I have 6,000 coins. But at the very least, I don't need to fight those Goombas. Oh, man. Looks like another giant wall that we're going to have to repaint. Wait a tick. It's a giant coin! We're rich! Or, well, you would be if we could actually pocket a coin that big. And if it weren't completely drained of color. Never mind, Mario. Sorry to get your hopes up. We're not rich. Unless you count friendship. Which I do. Aww. Thank you, Huey. That honestly means a lot to me. It really does. In fact, I hope it means a lot to you guys too. Because you're my friends as well. Or something weird like that. Anyway, though, with that, guys, I think we have explored another roadblock. There are so many roadblocks in front of us, but there's still one more path down Mondo Woods for us to take. So next time we will head down that path, find the professor, return to Chateau Chanterelle, go into Marmalade Valley, and do a whole lot of stuff. But with that, guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. See you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.